Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Afi Azri bin Azrin And now I'm going to explain the purpose of honey net, honey pot and also padded cell So what is the purpose of honey net? The purpose of honey net is uh, to invite attack so that uh, attacker's activity and method can be studied and that information can be used to increase the network security in the honey net it has one or more honey pot the purpose of honey pot is to represent itself on the internet as a potential target for the attackers attackers usually a server or the high value attackers it can notify a defender of any attempts any attempts to access the honey pot by unauthorized users lastly padded cell padded cell is not much different with honey pot it still the same thing but padded cell is more protected than honey pot that's all Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today Me, Muhammad Safa, and Muhammad Azmi will explain to you About the advantage of the honey pots There are many advantage of the honey pots First, the advantage of the honey pot is When the attacker want to attack the main system The the, the attacker the ethical will be diverted to, to, to the honey pots That they cannot uh, damage Second, when the attacker was has been diverted to the pot so that the administrator can take that time to, to think how to respond to the attacker. Third, the advantage of the honey pots is when the attacker has been diverted to the honey pots, uh, the data of the attack will be monitored and recorded by the honey pots so that they can make improvement to the system to make the system better. And Last but not least, the honey pots is one of the best way to catch the hacker snooping around a network to hack our system. Okay, Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Al Hakim bin Hassan. Uh, basically, I will explain the disadvantage of using the system. So, first, th there are still no legal uh, implications that is fully defined. Especially uh, in developing one system, one of the important things uh, is the legal documentation. But uh, for this system, there are still no solid documentation for that. For the second point, uh, actually, this system is not yet uh, fully proven or shown that uh, it is exactly useful security technologies. We might think it will work uh, as how we want, but uh, in real life, uh, it is still uh, in progress. So. By time, uh, the effectiveness of the system will be proven. For the third point, let's say you are an expert attacker, you have got into this trap. For sure, you must be angry because you are like being played. So, there are very big uh, possibilities for the attacker to raid again the system with more hostile attack. Uh, one last point uh, for the disadvantage, the security manager and also the administrator need to have very high experts uh, with the system. To, to manage and control the system. If no experts in the system, how the system can be implemented?